Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I just wanted to review the standard deviation and uh, also the z-score, inshallah. So, if you recall, the standard deviation is a measure of the spread of the data, uh, a, uh, spread of the data compared to the mean. So, if x bar is the mean, okay, or mu is the mean, and there's another symbol for that, or mu like this, okay. If that's the mean, these are all same. Different uh, uh, individuals use different uh, notations. So if this is the mean, okay, that's the average. The standard deviation measures how how spread the data is compared to the mean. Is it like this, okay, or is it like this, okay? So it's a measure of spread. Okay, the bigger the value of the standard deviation is, the, the more spread the data is. The standard deviation meaning how far away from the mean a, a single uh, individual data point is. So how far away from the mean that each individual data point is. That's the standard deviation, right? So how far away from the mean it is. Okay, we talked about that before. So standard deviation has its own symbol. I used the standard deviation. It to me it just seems very natural or the lowercase sigma is a Greek letter is used for standard deviation and the formula is this cool looking formula that looks like this okay and uh, uh, in the numerator this formula has uh, the capital letter sigma okay which start uh, and it has every individual value x sub i minus uh, the mean okay like this right or x sub i minus the mean every subtract the mean or, or this mean, whichever you like to say, I'm going to use mu because we had previously used mu over here. Uh, for every x sub i, for every i from 1 to n, and being the number of data, over n. Okay, and so this is square here. So each difference between every individual value um, from x1, x2, x3, da da da, this is x sub i from 1 to n. So i being from 1 to n. So, so the difference between every individual value uh, <coughs> subtracted from the mean squared and then add them all up and uh, uh, divide by n and take the square root of this and then you get the means uh, you get the standard deviation so this is the formula for uh, standard deviation okay so that's very important but standard deviation is the average uh, distance from the mean okay now, now if you then the z score is a different concept that you'll discuss in a little bit. The z score is defined as uh, if you're given a particular value x, given any one of the data points, the z score is x, okay, minus the mean, okay, like this, okay, x minus the mean here, okay. You can use m mu for another mean, so another so mean over the standard deviation like this okay so the way you calculate the z-score is you take an individual x value and um, uh, if you're given it a standard deviation of mean so for example in the example we did was uh, you had a, in a particular study the average or the mean cholesterol score was like 174 okay and the standard deviation uh, lowercase sigma standard deviation was 14 okay if somebody's cholesterol score, let's say, uh, was uh, um, 150, what would be their z-score? Well, the z-score would be calculated for them like this. Z-score would be 150 minus um, uh, 174. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, that's the mean, yeah. Divided by uh, standard deviation uh, 14. And uh, this ends up being negative uh, approximately 1.71 so the z-score is a negative 1.71 so these are definitions of uh, standard deviation or the average distance from the mean and the z-score which is um, particular x value the individual particular value minus the mean um, uh, min uh, minus the mean um, mu uh, over uh, the standard deviation or uh, 
or sim lowercase sim like that. These are all symbols that mean uh, the same thing. I have grown to like this one only because it's just the Greek letters are growing old on me, um, and it's Greek after all. Uh, so N for mean, SD for standard deviation makes a lot of sense. X minus mean divided by standard deviation is how you get the Z score. And if you wanted to use the same thing, you would change this to a mean M. Uh, and that would give you a standard deviation formula. Um, these are important concepts. I hope you appreciate it. Until next time, I'll see you later.